WGOD, the Jerusalem Network News. This is a Jerusalem Network News special report with your anchor person, Laquana Price, reporting today's startling events on the Bethish Road. And now to our reporter, Stephanie Carter. We're here on the Bathage Road where quite a large crowd has gathered to cheer at the arrival of a man we've all been hearing about recently, Jesus of Nazareth. You can hear in the background the shouts of Hosanna and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord and even blessed is the King of Israel. Although we've had prophets before whom the crowds have held as king, the arrival of this one is a little unique. He's on the normal white horse or black stallion routine and he's riding to Jerusalem on the back of a small donkey. We have here a man who is personally involved in this play. Will you tell our viewing audience what part you have in all this commotion? Why sure. Come on. All right. Come this away. You might say that without me, this whole parade wouldn't be possible. You see, that's my donkey he's riding. He's a family pet. He's a little small but big on dependability. Oh, can you get back to the prophet? Oh yeah, sure. There we were by the Belfarge Gate, my donkey and I, when these two men just came up and said, and started untying my donkey. And I says, what you two doing my animals, you clown? And they says, the Lord needs it and will send it back to you. Well, I says, okay. I just can't believe it. Two guys come up and untie my donkey and I says, okay, that's not like me at all. Okay. Well, thank you, sir, and good luck with getting your donkey back again. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't like me at all. Let's see if yes, we can yes, talk yes. to a member of the crowd here. Ma'am, could you come over here a moment and tell us? Yeah, yes. Yes. yes, could you describe for our viewers just why it is that you're here today? Well, I come to all the most at a great. I mean, I've seen more prophets, messiahs, and saviors come and go than your average Tom, Harry, and Judas. And do you think this one is just like all the others? Well, if the stories are true, this guy could actually be someone special. I mean, there's a rumor that he actually raised someone from the dead not long ago over in Bethany. Bethany is not that far from here. No, is not it? far at all. I mean, if that's true, I mean, this guy might not be your average messiah. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say that he's really, well, you know. But every now and then, you just have to wonder if just the real thing may not just show up in doing the Romans. And if you thought that Jesus really were the real thing, what do you think you'd do about that? Oh, I'm not saying I would do anything. You know, you just kind of go with the flow. You know how these crowds are. Hosanna today. Crucified tomorrow. I don't think they want much to do with any Messiah. I mean, who knows what they would actually do. Well, yes. Thank you. Okay. Oh, look. We're in luck. One of the chief priests is heading this way. Maybe we can get a word with him. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Do you have a moment to share with us an official opinion about what's going on here today? Yes, we prepared a statement for the press. We have been carefully monitoring the movements of this Jesus of Nazareth, and we find his attitude and his claims to border on blasphemy. We advise faithful Jews who are listening to take care and lest they be led astray. But, sir, what do you think? Sorry. Well, sir, what about oh, sorry. the miracle? Okay. Sorry. Thank you. And now back to you, Laquana. Well, as you can see, everyone is rather non-committal as to who this Jesus of Nazareth really is. Although the fervor here today would lead you to believe that he has a lot of support of some sort. I guess we'll all have to wait and see the results of his stay in Jerusalem this Passover week and make our own decisions. Just who do you think he is? This is Laquan Price reporting. Good day. This has been a special report on WGOD, the Jerusalem Network News.